All right, just came in the back door at 4516 Outland or Outwood Drive, Ladson. Come in, small utility room. Nothing major in here. The garage enclosure is a definitely homeowner addition here. You got pergo floors with all the seams lining up in a row, so they just pop right out. Um, but they'll touch up on the drywall. Little work around the door. The interior would be fine. Here's panel. It's a 150 amp panel, so doesn't need upgrading. It's got enough for that central heating and air. Closet. This room just may need mud work, a little bit of trim around the door. New flooring. Uh, you may even be able to reuse that if you can pull it up and stagger the seams so they're not all right in a row. It looks new. It doesn't even have a scratch on it. It's just laid wrong. And a little mud work on the walls and some paint. Look at the utility room just needs a little drywall point up, paint. Laundry room would be wallpaper removal and a little drywall work and paint. Hookups there, electricity's there. Need some vinyl flooring too. Here in the main part of the house, living room. Gotta need some carpet, a little cleaning on the fireplace, paint the paneling. Need a new back door, it's hard to see, but been sprung someone kicked it in at some point so it's you can see daylight all the way around it AC diffusers all have black around them one of two things is either there was a small fire here at some point or the unit's been run without a change of filters I went up in the attic didn't see any signs of fire in the kitchen, got a... Hey Kurt, I'm shooting your video right now. Oh, I think I just missed you. Uh, here in the kitchen, upper cabinets are salvageable, probably just new doors. Some of the lower ones are good over to about there, and then from the sink, the bottoms are rotted out. So in here you got probably two new cabinets, could use some countertops, a little bit of flooring. Dishwasher looks in good shape. It's a GE, fairly new. A little drywall work and paint. Here in the main entrance, the foyer. A little drywall touch up. Some new flooring. This is just sticky vinyl tile and paint. Now the hallway has been tiled and this house is on a slab. So, if you don't like it, that would not be pleasant to take up right there. Could be done. Tile's in good shape. It's not cracked. It is sound. It's just really ugly. Marble threshold's cracked three spots. One, two, and there's number three. Bedroom one needs carpet, paint, drywall touch-up. Windows are in good shape. Probably new interior doors throughout. Probably talking a dozen doors. I haven't taken exact count. So that's bedroom one. Bedroom two has the old tiles on a mud bed. I don't know if you can see the step up there. So that's on a mud bed. The tiles are sound and intact. Just extremely ugly. But again, you're looking at fairly expensive demo and getting the floor flat enough to be tiled again. Vanity's intact, in good shape. Toilet's in good shape, maybe a new toilet seat. Tile shower surround. Looks to be in decent shape. Just very ugly green color. Could use a to be reglazed. Tub's been replaced. Put wood trim around the base, which is a 
not really ideal. The tub seems to be in decent shape. I don't see any cracks in it, in the bottom of it, but it is just a fiberglass drop-in at this point. So the bathroom just needs a little drywall work. Paint. Bedroom two, we've got vinyl sticky tiles on the floor. Obviously need to be replaced. Got some more drywall work. The wallpaper removal. Windows in good shape. Missing closet doors. And a little trim work on the entry door is needed. Hall closet, there's no flooring in it. Shelves are all there. Door intact, trim intact. Master bedroom needs a new door. Little paint work, drywall touch up. Windows in good shape. Carpet on the floor. But, uh, yeah, just two layers of carpet over a slab. Master bathroom door. Looks like it could use a new door. Master bathroom floor has a mud bed again. Tiles look to be intact. Small half bath. As far as bumping this out to make a full bath, again, you've just got some drywall work, paint, nothing major in there. Um, to make this a full bath, To make this a full bath, you're going to have to get five feet at least in one direction. You can't get it widthwise, side to side, because the other bathroom is there. Um, the tub for the other bathroom is right on the other side of here. Um, you can gain two feet into the living room, roughly by bumping out to the edge of that window will get you roughly 24 inches which I don't think is going to help the cause if you got 24 inches in that direction to look at this some more and get back to you so continuing on the tour we can go outside I already did a once around the outside we'll go do one real quick out the front door which is split top to bottom but it's been bondoed um, there's a split in it but probably needs a new slab windows are all in good shape yeah, so just this just painted plywood around the front. It's deteriorated here. Yeah, some patient soft a deterioration. This one I definitely would say you need a new roof on it. It's 
It's been patched a couple times. You got deteriorated, rusted, galvanized boots. You got shingle curling. I mean, you may be able to get a few more years out of it, but it doesn't have much. Also, your drip edge all the way around is uh, rotted. Side gable just needs scraped and painted. Outbuilding in the back needs to find a dumpster to be put in. Just termite ridden. As you can see there, there, and I kicked this and got it off and they've run all the way down there. So that's good for a big fire to fill a dumpster. Here on the back, uh, this thing probably needs to follow that into the dumpster. It's all the rafter tails have been cut through and now you can look up and see into the attic insulation. So you've got to put this thing in the dumpster and run and replace about 16 feet of fascia, scrape and paint. Here's that back door that needs to be replaced, the one that's been kicked out. Other than that, just scraping and painting. All the windows are in real good shape. Majority of fascia and soft, it's in good shape. I'm talking are replacing all together, maybe. 25 feet face and soffit and all the rest is just scraping and painting. No structural cracks on the bricks. Looks like it's graded the right way away from the house. Goodman fairly new system on it still here. The only thing that I saw was it does look like you've got a little undermining on the slab but that could be fixed with a gutter a little fill dirt and a tan fell on a shovel. That's about it. I'll uh, email this to you tonight. Thanks. Bye.